Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 3rd. Uh, day 19 on the Camino de Santiago, Frances. I am just leaving Sahakun. Going to uh, Relegios. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Sorry. 30 kilometers. The temperature is 10 degrees right now. It's supposed to get to only 24, which is fantastic. Um, fairly flat walk yesterday. I'm expecting the same as yesterday. What did I just say? Oh my God. Oh, it is, uh, I already set the time. Okay, let's get going. Uh, yeah, I'll check in with you later. There was a, uh, you can take the alternative route, which is this way. It's longer. And I have to go this way because I'm going to where my heels. Uh, and this way they have the Roman road. This way is just what we've been doing. Thirty. Let me turn off my light. Um, sun is starting to come up. Stars no moon tonight. I mean today, this morning. walking a 38er. Okay, well, I feel pretty good. Uh, yesterday, well, last night, I rubbed my feet with some Dr. Bronner Magic Balm, put my socks over them, I gave them a good massage, I had my feet up on the wall for maybe 30 minutes, did some good stretching. Uh, today, I feel good. My feet feel good, not tired. My knee feels good. Uh, I am just really, really hungry. So dinner in Spain usually doesn't start until 8, 8.30. Uh, anything before that, you can grab tapas. Uh, I had that lunch. I can't remember what time it was. Maybe 3 o'clock. Uh, and then after, I really didn't eat dinner. I just had the yogurt peach um, and I was just too tired to go out at 8 to get dinner so now I'm so hungry I have a yogurt with me uh, and an apple and I think I have a canola bar um, should be coming up soon maybe another four kilometers for the first town so I'm hoping I'll have a good breakfast there uh, yeah, we are in Bericanos del Real Camino. Uh, oh, it says you can stamp your credential here, but I, it's closed. There's no one here. It's too early for sure. Yeah, there's like the gate is locked. Bericanos 
is 1900. Cute little place. And it's a albergue as well. I just had my half hour break in Americanos del Rio Camino. Uh, I could have stayed there at, all day at Americanos. Uh, 1900 what a cute little place um, it has that coffee coffee shop vibe but it's an albergue too very nice um, good coffee good croissants yeah uh, it is almost nine o'clock don't see any sign I'm trying to look out for signs almost nine I've done ten kilometers I have another uh, 20 to go. 20. Um, so, yeah, let's get going. Had coffee. I actually had two coffees. Um, so I'm good to go. I gotta check when the next town is. Um, yeah, chat later. It is almost 10 a.m. Uh, 15 and a half kilometers, 3 hours and 15 minutes, the temperature is 14, and there's this breeze, cool breeze, it is perfect walking weather, perfect. I took off my sun shirt, um, it's been mostly like this, here's the walking beside the country road and the N. 120 and to Lyon. To me, this is perfect walking weather. Just should be like this every day. Uh, um, I saw a comment on or a question on a Facebook group, I think yesterday. Someone asking, and it's always the same question about do I need a headlamp? Do I need a head torch? Um, personally, I'm going to say yes, especially if you're walking in September like I have. Uh, it doesn't get light out until 7.38 and now the sun doesn't come out until past 8. Um, when you have 20-25 kilometers to walk, that's just a bit too late to leave. Um, so it'll take you about 4-5 or five hours to walk and that's not counting in your breaks, usually two breaks. And then you're going into a church, you're, you know, taking pictures. Uh, you usually, everyone usually leaves between 6 and 7. Uh, so, a head torch, yes, you need it. Because you won't be able to see. Um, and it's all gravel path with rocks. You don't want to trip. And this morning, um, a gentleman in front of me, he had a head torch, but it was a very small one, not very strong. Maybe the batteries were running out, but he missed a sign and he continued going straight and we had to cross over um, and go the other way. And I had to like scream out, call him out because he hadn't seen it. So not only is it gonna help you from, you know, falling, because you don't see a stone or a divot or, you know, but also so you can see the markers and know where you're going in the dark. So for me, yes, definitely get a head torch, get a good one. Mine is rechargeable. It's a black diamond, I think spot 400. It has the red light so I can use it in the albergues in the morning and not disturb anyone. Um, and then it has two different light settings. Um, and it's rechargeable so I don't have to worry about batteries but I do have to recharge it all the time which is fine. I usually do it every other day. Um, but yeah. Definitely get a headlight. Okay, we're arriving to El Burgo Ranero. It is, uh, what time is it? 10 18? Uh, 
17 and kilometers, 17 kilometers walked, three hours and 40 minutes. Uh, I'm going to take a break here. Uh, so after this, I still have, uh, I still have how many? 13 kilometers to walk. Feeling good. Um, yeah, just gonna take a small break here. Have something to drink, use the washroom. Uh, I didn't have my yogurt yet, so I'll have my yogurt now with some walnuts. Chicken breakfast. I got an egg, still have my yogurt. I have some nuts and seeds and a coffee. All right, had my little break, leaving El Burgo Ranero. Uh, so next town is where I'm going, which is Relegios. Uh, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, uh, which is 12 and a half kilometers without anything. Um, but that also means I'll be done in 12 and a half kilometers. It is 10 to 11. Um, been walking for almost 18 kilometers, which sounds about right. 12 kilometers will bring me to 30. So 12, that's probably what? Two hour walk, maybe two hours and 15 minutes. So yeah, let's get it done. They say that there are three stages on the Camino. Your first stage is the physical stage, so body, and that's from St. John to Burgos, where you're, you know, it's very physically demanding. You're, you probably have never done anything like that. Uh, so you're testing, you're, you're challenging your body. And then between Burgos and Leon is the Meseta. And that's, that's your mind, your emotional challenge, because um, you're, there are bigger stages, I mean bigger, uh, between towns, you go for a long time. Like there was that one day where it was 17 kilometers and you've had a lot, we've had a lot of 10 and 12 kilometers between towns. And uh, you're just surrounded by nothing. And if you're walking by yourself, there's a lot of time to be in your head and work stuff out. And then they say, once you get into Galicia, it's the spiritual journey. So going to cruise the Pharaoh and leaving your stone there and getting into Santiago. Um, not really a spiritual person, but it'll be interesting to see that. But I can totally see the Meseta being, you know, you're in your mind, you're de dealing with your emotions, stuff that you have at home, or, you know, just who you are. Or, um, it's kind of the same thing like when we go to Daytona on vacation, and you're on the beach, and it's pretty quiet in November, and you're just there watching the ocean, and you have hours to just think about nothing or think about, you know, stuff at home. And here it's, it's the exact same because you're out and there's nothing, nothing. So you're in your head. Well, kind of like that. Because in your day to day, you don't really have a chance to do that, to just sit. Um, and a lot of people skip the maceta I think a lot of extroverts do because you do spend a lot of time by yourself. 
you know, you have to sit with stuff in your head. Yeah, I think maybe introverts have a lot easier time doing that. Take your shit with you. Leave no trace. That includes your number two and your toilet paper. Take it with you and leave it up there. The last few kilometers are always the worst. Okay, I have two and a half kilometers to go. Hello. Uh, two and a half kilometers. Do you see a town? No. It's two and a half kilometers. I should be able to see the town, but there's nothing. Nothing. So it, uh, it just makes it like, okay, I'm tired. I just want to get there. My feet are tired. I want to take a shower. You're telling me it's two and a half kilometers, but I don't see you. Are you lying to me? And she has a big puppy dog. Oh, he's sleeping in the cheek. There. Very reason. Uh, dinner is vegan meal. Oh, wow, look. More setting. Oh, very nice. Uh, it's a vegan meal. Uh, 16 euros, I think, to begin. It's a salad. And then, like, a chickpea stew. I'm very excited. These are bodegas. So wine cellars built into the hills. Like I think we saw in the previous town too. I'm just having an ice cream. But this is the famous Elvis bar. You see it on everyone's videos. But yeah, it's always closed. Mm, I think it's just famous because of all the graffiti on the wall. Let's do a closing video because uh, I don't think I'm going to spend any more money today. Uh, so today I walk 30 km from Sahagun to Relayos. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. Um, it was a good walk. No, nothing big happened. Just got it done. Uh, I am staying at, I can't remember the name of the albergue, but they have a vegetarian meal. No, she said vegan. Vegan meal uh, for dinner. 
a bit expensive. It's 20 euros to stay. So bunk beds, right now I have the bottom bunk bed. Um, and uh, let me shade. Uh, dinner is a vegan meal with, she said uh, to start it's a salad and then chickpea stew. I'm so excited. Very excited about that. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. Uh, this is the church. It's very modern. That is the church. And Milagios. Igreza. Let me see. Uh, Cornelio Cipriano's. I don't know if you guys can see that. <clears throat> the total, I guess a bit expensive today. The total uh, 20, that's 46. I'm going to say it's probably around 50 or if, no, not 46. But it's around 50 euros. Uh, when I came in, I had a an Aquarius and a tuna empanada, which was really good. And then I just bought an ice cream, Magnum ice cream, and some cookies. I'm um, hoping I can go back to the albergue and just hang out in the back. Uh, they have a great backyard. I want to do some stretching, just relaxing, um, and maybe have a tea some cookies that would be nice um, and I can't remember how much I paid for breakfast today first and second breakfast so I'm gonna round it out and say probably spent 50 euros today I did my own laundry so didn't have to pay for that um, yeah tomorrow I walk to Lyon I think it'll be 24 25 kilometers um, they do offer breakfast at this place and she said any time whatever time we want we just have to let her know um, I I don't know I don't think I'll do breakfast I think I'll just eat on the way I think I'll just do that eat on the way um, yeah that's all shouldn't take me long to get to Leon tomorrow I'm excited Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday will be a rest day. Yes, my legs need it. My feet need it. Uh, my knees, okay. A little, it's always like at the end of the day, at the day it always hurts a bit. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all I got for you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.